Hello, it's Ruby and Deja Vu. I am going to look at my exam grades. <sighs> Let's hope that it's not like last time where I was crying. Um, I got the email through in one of my lectures at 10.30, but then we had a field trip. It's now two o'clock. I'm so scared and apparently from what I've kind of overheard from other people, they're not that high. Um, and the main thing you're really trying to do with these is trying to pass them. Um, so I don't know how to feel about that. Um, I know that my first one went badly. So for all of GCSE's A-levels, I knew that I shouldn't do revision right beforehand. So I should leave an hour before the exam where I don't do revision or at least like 10, 15 minutes. So as soon as I get to the place where the exam should be, I shouldn't be looking at any notes. I should just be being mindful and kind of trying to relax myself and making sure I'm not stressed. Because when I go into an exam and I'm stressed, I don't do well. And I know I don't do well. I figured this out when I was in year nine or year 10. And yet for this exam, I did that. Uh, it was my first exam and I was looking at my notes right beforehand and then I couldn't concentrate properly. And I really think I did badly because I was writing the essay thinking this is atrocious. The second two I think went better um, because I wasn't stressed and I just sat down and I was I felt like I was enjoying the essay as I wrote as I wrote it for the first one and I enjoyed the second exam paper. So let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so scared. Okay. That was very unexpected. What? Okay, so basically um, the exam which I said that I was really stressed before and I thought I'd done really badly in, I ended up somehow getting an 80 in it. I mean, how did that happen? I was not expecting that. I thought I'd done so badly in that exam and I got an 80. What? Um, okay, great, fantastic. Uh, so it's got all of my grades for this term. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So then for the exam this is the essay exam that i was writing and i thought i'm so happy with this i'm really enjoying it this is amazing like i was just so happy and i only got a 60 on that thankfully that i didn't realize this my first essay the one that i reacted to and i got a bad grade on it was formative so it doesn't even count towards my final mark so i got a 64 in this questionnaire that we did which was 20% and then the exam was 80% and I got 60. So I got 61 overall, um, which was a low two one. For evidence and argument, I got 74. Uh, the maximum we could get was 85 for that, but I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. The exam we were told was quite easy, so, but I'm happy with that. And then I got a 79 overall in Bible past and present and a 77 overall in Christian origins. So it says at the bottom, Credits past 60. Oh, I'm confused. So do I get like an overall mark for my first term? Yeah, I'm happy with that though. Like, how did I get 80%? How did I get 80 on that exam? I thought that had gone so badly. I'm gonna do a cal I'm gonna kind of calculate what my average mark was overall. Okay, so my average mark was 73, which is a low first. The one that really dragged it down was my knowledge and reality because I got 60 on that exam, which I'm not entirely happy with, but at the same time, like, I got a first. I've averaged a first, which is, which is good. Ruby is happy. Um, so I'm obviously a lot happier than I was last time I did a reaction video. I'm really glad though that I shared that other video, that I shared my reaction to that essay because it's really important for me that you realise I don't just automatically walk out with really good grades, that everyone faces failure sometimes and it's okay to recognise that you have failed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, if it's the kind of thing you can enjoy, I don't know, um, and I hope that you have a productive week.